So it's popping YouTube. Today, I am going to upgrade the storage for my computer. As you can see, I have it out here instead of in my room. So I'm reorganizing my room, like the desk layout. So I finally had the opportunity to just take this out here and actually upgrade this. I bought this a while ago, like on a Memorial Day sale or something for like a hundred bucks. It's the 990 Pro with the heat sink. So this is gonna be kind of an exploratory situation for me to find out if I can install a heat sink version of that into here and I have to take off all this crap because it, it needs the riser to even fit the 3090 on this thing. So, uh, yeah, I have the compu cleaner too, so I might blast this thing with air to clean out all of the dust that's built up over time. But yeah, let's get into it. I'll probably fast forward through all this stuff, but we're just gonna have to screw off the panel, unscrew a bunch of other nonsense, take off the thing, put the thing in, and then the things will be thing and then it's done. So let's go. Down. Bruh. All right, so I'll zoom in onto this now. There's already an SSD in there, which is the current M.2 I'm using, which is a 990 Pro, one terabyte without the heatsink. That's full now. So based on how this motherboard works, I'm gonna have to install a new one into this one down here, which will be the second M.2 slot. I'm pretty sure the second one on this is as quick as the first one, but then when you start moving down to these two, I think there's two slots there. Those are slower slots. So let's see if I can do this correctly, guys. I got that dog in me though so let's go amazing i am gonna just do this uh standing up so we'll see how that goes also i did basically forget to push this out while i was trying to take the riser out which is why i was taking this so long remember that stuff on the motherboards don't break your parts so it does have the tape there for heat sinking but it's gonna be irrelevant for this setup simply due to the fact that this already has a heat sink. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on top again anyway. Never mind, it won't fit, so I'm not gonna go ahead and put that back on top anyway. But I will be taking out the left screw so I can put it into there. So that goes in the slot, kind of pull it in, and screw goes in the spot. Oh shit. Oh, down. That happens. This is why doing it laid down is technically easier, but I'm lazy, so I just do it like that. Now, once again, you're not trying to break anything, but you are trying to get it tightened down a good amount as much as you can. So yeah, the screw is basically as deep as it'll go. So I guess you could get replacement ones that'll go all the way in, but it should still work because it's plugged in. So I'm gonna leave this on the floor, put everything back in, plug all this stuff back in, speed it up again, and then I'll switch to screen recording so we can see how you're supposed to set up that SSD exactly once it is plugged in. But uh, yeah, let's go. Well, not pieces, let's put this shit back together. Let's dust it first. No, not too bad. Still gonna need a thorough wipe down, but the fan still had a dirty and all that stuff, but any extraneous stuff was gone for sure. Let's put this back in. And voila, there was the call. I believe it is complete. You know, I'm gonna plug it in and if anything blows up, fries, sizzles, or just doesn't turn on, then I'm gonna know I didn't do it correctly. And uh, yeah, see you soon.